Namaste Yogi and Yogini. Welcome to Apinya Yoga. I am Apinya. Today I have a challenge pose and it's very fun to do when you quite somewhat strong enough to get into it. It really helps you building your upper body strength for future of your fancy fun arm balances. I call this one a Chaturanga Dandasana Hover. Let's take a look. Okay, it looks like this. You come down to your belly. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> so you just hover in Chaturanga Dandasana for about however long as you feel like you can handle the, the, the weight when you leave it off the floor. It's very interestingly that when, when you wake this, it's actually not an easy thing to do. Well, let me guide you step by step how to get into that. So you come down to your belly, let you have your hand on either side of your chest and you tuck your toes under. You lift your knees off the floor, you draw your shoulder blades together. Yeah, and you can see, neck's nice and long. And my chest is already kind of, upper chest is already lifting, my leg is already lifting. What left is my, pretty much is like from my ribs to my hips that I'm gonna lift it off the floor in one piece and I'm just gonna let it be as only high as where my shoulder blades and my toes are, like the space of where the shoulder blades and the toe in it. So I'm not really actually push myself off the floor at all. I don't add any more upper body strength. I just lift the middle part of the body and then I hold that part as long as I can. Let's say we do five count, okay? So hand on either side of your chest. So you really need to have a lot of opening in your upper body already right here. I don't know if you can do it this way because I never, I think it might be good if you want to build a different part of the muscle. Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> I think you should try that. Now, we're gonna do it with the hand really close to the chest, spread your fingers apart. Okay. Draw your shoulder blades up and away from the floor and together. Tuck your toes under, straight your leg. And when you're ready, you wait for the inhalation to draw your belly off the ground. A little push in the hand, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do now, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, and come down, and you rest. <laughs> One more time, Chaturanga Dandasana, hover, shoulder blades together, up and away from the floor, straight leg, start to engage your core, next long, and lift whatever left off the floor. One two, three, four, five. You're gonna feel really burned here. Like, kind of start to feel these muscles is working. So if you see that, um, if you know the part of sun salutation that people get themselves from the ground back to downward facing dog, that is a piece of it. And in itself is really tough. Right. So let's say when you, when, like, when you're done um, cobra and you come down and you want to go back up to downward facing dog, some of others strong, they add this. And then they push them to off the floor and then they go to downward facing dog. Wow, <laughs> it feels really easy. That actually is not easy for me for a while now since I give birth. But that's how you build that strength in order to become more stronger and much tighter, <laughs> I think. Okay, one more time, everybody. 
Chaturanga Dandasana. Hover. So hand on either side of your chest. Remember that your wrist should parallel to the front edge of the mat. Your fingers spread wide and you really let you crawl, crawl off the floor enough. We want the wrist to be really strong. Okay. Leg straight and what level is just to get this part of the body up and away from the floor without adding any more height into the pose. Last time. Next inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Come down. That is it, Yogi and Yoginis. Chaturanga Dandasana hover. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up. And if you never subscribe to Opinya Yoga, welcome everybody. I also have Facebook and Instagram. If you want to meet me there, talk with me, share some photos, I will be an honor. See you in the next video, everybody. Namaste.